Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. The super fight taking place at the end of August. We're going to be talking about that later on in the video. But today, we're going to be discussing the Adam Sala versus KSI sparring match that's going to be happening this August as well. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gloved Up, the number one YouTube boxing exclusive show. I'm your host, Patrick McGough. Let's get straight into the third episode of Gloved Up. Guys, I'm really enjoying making this Gloved Up show, so if you like it, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel for more Gloved Up episodes, and make sure to comment, what can I change about the show? What do you guys want me to talk about? And as well, who do you want me to collab with in the YouTube boxing scene? All right, people, so on today's episode, we're going to be talking about the KSI versus Adam Sala sparring event. Adam Sala, of course, uploaded a brand new video the other day. Not really going to react to it. However, I am going to say this right before we start with the Adam Sala stuff. In the last video, I really did give a lot of shit to Adam Sala. So I'm just going to go on a rip and say this right now. So for future videos, because I'm going to be as unbiased as possible. But if I am biased, you can come back to this video and understand why. Adam Sala is probably my least favorite YouTube boxer. I don't like him. Now, as a person, I don't know what he's like, but as a boxer, and when he's in there, he's a complete asshole, he's asinine, I don't think he's as good as he says he is, but I do think he's good, so I can't go out there and say that he sucks, sometimes I talk out my ass and I really gotta be better about that, because I wanna be as unbiased as possible, one of my inspirations, one of my favorite YouTubers right now, Roundhouse Radio, um, he is as unbiased as possible. He makes some of the greatest YouTube boxing content and boxing MMA content on YouTube. So subscribe to him. You guys are probably already subscribed to him if you're watching this video. Hopefully one day we can get him on this channel. I uh, got Space Lord out there trying to recruit him for me. But in any case scenario, uh, Adam Sala versus KSI. They have agreed to a sparring match in August. And to be honest with you, um, there's some things that I want to talk about this. Um... Adam uploaded a video, and he was talking about how KSI, for numerous years, has been ducking him. They show this clip of KSI saying, nah, I'm not fighting Adam Sala. Sonny. Bro, I ain't fighting Adam Sala. Fuck, fuck that. Why, hey, bro? <laughs> nah. And Adam Sala likes to take that as KSI is scared of him, but I don't think that KSI is scared of him. Um, I genuinely think that he was just thinking that Adam Sala is a goofy dude. And to be honest with you, if you're watching Adam Sala for the first time, he kind of is a goofy dude. Like, all YouTubers are pretty goofy dudes when you first watch him. But, you know, uh, Adam Sala's got the Doomy gang, and he's got the whole, like, yo, what's up, Doomy gang? I got kicked off a plane. Yo, they thought I was racist and some shit. Does anyone remember when he got kicked off the plane? Um, but Adam Sala keeps talking out his ass, saying that KSI is scared of him, and that that's the reason why he does not want to film the sparring match. I know why KSI doesn't want to film the sparring match. Um, KSI hasn't boxed since 2019, and he's been saying numerous times that he's been improving on his game, and of course, I do think that he has improved technically, and I honestly think that KSI is a better technical boxer than people give him credit for. You know, there's a lot of pressure when you get into that boxing ring, you know? It's different, you know? I, I boxed in my backyard, and I don't want to be foosy tubing or anything, but I boxed in my backyard, and I felt the pressure of 10 people watching me and my cameras all over me in my backyard. So imagine how it is going in front of that many people. So when you honestly think of KSI and how he does as a performer, he did amazing. And so did Logan. Logan didn't show up on the night that night either. He was a great technical boxer, probably better than KSI on the KSI versus Logan Paul too. But KSI showed up better on the night. And though he did throw those swinging hooks, I do think he's a better technical boxer if he was in a gym, not surrounded by that many people. Because KSI handles pressure very, very well way better than Adam Sala. And we know that Adam Sala has faked fights. Listen, okay? I want to give Adam Sala as much credit as due, as due as possible. But the thing is, is that when you fake a fight, it is hard for me to accept that it's real. I need to see that checkbook that you paid Marcus before you say that I'm a real boxer. And I guarantee you that there's some shady business going on with that fucking Coco Swap deal too. I mean, it's a crypto event. I'm pretty sure you had to pay in crypto to watch the event. And Money Kicks is a billionaire. And Slim and Adam, they're all boys. And apparently he's moving to Dubai, Adam Sala. So we'll see. 
I don't know when this bar is going to be happening because, of course, there is a bunch of coronavirus restrictions and you have to quarantine and everything. So we might not be seeing this for the next couple of weeks. But honestly, I might give a better prediction in the next couple of days. But I wanted to follow this up because I made a video about it before. And I didn't really think I did a great job. So I thought I was going to do it again. Stop right there. Before we go on, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on the video. Who do you think is going to win? Adam Sala or KSI? Now, I feel like I've done a disservice to YouTube boxing because throughout all my YouTube boxing on this channel that I've talked about, I have yet to talk about Jake Paul. That's amazing, right? I've talked about Logan Paul. I've talked about Anderson Silva. I've talked about Adam Sala, Slim, all the TikTokers. I've talked about KSI, but I have not talked about Jake Paul. And it's clear that Jake Paul is running the boxing world right now. He's getting paid more than more, most world champions, right? more than most MMA fighters. He's beaten up MMA fighters, and he's facing off against Tyron Woodley at the end of August. Now, I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited for this fight. I'm rooting for Jake Paul, but I really like Tyron Woodley. You know, there's a reason why I root for all the YouTube guys, and it's because I'm a YouTuber myself. And although I am a huge fight fan, I've been watching fights for about two years now. I'm only like 21, so that's gonna add up over the years as the years go by. But the thing is, is with me, um, I have to stick with the YouTubers because this is how I started and I have to root for the little guy. I have to prove, I have to root for the guy that goes out there that isn't in their field like a YouTuber going out and being a boxer. But now I think we can classify Jake Paul as a fighter. I wouldn't say that he is a, you know, full on like boxer yet. Um, I think that if he beats Tommy Fury, he could be considered a boxer. I think he will beat Tommy Fury. Um, but I might be talking on my ass there, too. I might get a lot of shit in the comments. I didn't even like Jake Paul back in the day. So I don't even really like him much now. But I like how he, what he's doing in the boxing scene. I actually like what he's doing um, nowadays. He's actually really uh, improving his character. He's becoming, you know, more like a uh, Logan Paul character. And he's he's playing that heel. But, you know, Chael Sonnen plays a heel. And Colby Covington plays a heel. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of Colby Covington. But I'm a huge fan of Chael Sonnen. Uh, but I like what Colby's doing. I respect it. But when it comes to Jake and Tyron, I can't really give 100% a prediction right now. Um, I just wanted to mention Tyron and Jake in the video because I thought that it was going to be a really good fight. You know, Jake's got good reach. He's got height on Tyron. Tyron has a significant age. He lost his last four fights to Kamaru and various others. Um, but the thing is, is that Tyron has knockout power. So I might have to do a better re re prediction about this. I really want to do it with Roundhouse Radio. That would be my absolute dream. So... Uh, I know my studio is kind of shit right now. I got my webcam. It's not really wigged out that well. I'm not really sure how to use it that well yet. I'm kind of a boomer. But the thing is, is that uh, you guys can see my whole uh, setup. You got my uh, cap sidekick underwear, you know, all, all that stuff. It, 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 I got to clean my room. But uh, I will make a, a bigger video in the next uh, Gloved Up episode um, calling out to Roundhouse Radio. Not calling him out, but calling him out to uh, um, come to the channel and uh, do a video with us. So anyways, guys, if you like the video, subscribe, like, and share this video. If you enjoy Gloved Up, which I know you do, uh, comment and tell me who do you think is going to win, uh, KSI versus Adam Sala in this sparring match. I will see you guys in the next episode of Gloved Up. This has been your host, Patrick McGough. I will see you guys in the next episode.